another day, another problem. So let's solve it. Hello guys, I hope everything is going well for you all. In this video, I will show you how to solve the two sum problem. I will try to solve it in as many different ways as I can, but keep in mind that there are no limits. The first solution to solve this problem is gonna be using two for loops and traverse the array twice. For example, we start at the two and traverse all the number inside the array and see if adding any number to two is equal to the target and so on. For the time complexity it's gonna be O of n squared and for the space complexity it's gonna be O of 1. But the better solution to solve this problem is gonna be by using a hash table. We go throughout the array and for each number in the array we'll first check the hash table to see if the number needed to sum up to the target value is there so for example we have the target number which is 9 we have the current number which is y and y is the number that we get when we traverse the array so we want to find the number x such as x plus y it's equal to the target number so as we iterate throughout the array we have the target sum and we have the current value which is y which is 2 so x equal to target minus y then, then we say is x in our hash table. If true, we just return x and y. Otherwise, we store the current number inside the hash table and we'll give it a value which is the index of the current number inside the array. The second solution to time complexity is gonna be O of n and the space complexity is gonna be O of n. The third way to solve this problem is gonna be by first by sorting the array which is gonna take O of n log n. And once we have a sorting array, we know that the left is the smaller and the right is the larger. So we're going to have two pointers, one to the left and one to the right. After that, we're going to sum up the two pointers and see if it's equal to the target number. If true, just return the left and right. If it's smaller, we move the left to the next number. If it's larger, we move the right pointer to the previous number. For the third solution, time complexity is going to be O of n log n and the space complexity is going to be O of 1. 